Hi, welcome to In the Playroom Applique, part of the 2020 series that we're doing through GourmetQuarter.com. So there's a pattern that you can purchase from GourmetQuarter.com and it's going to give you all 20 different appliques. So up here we have a picture of all 20 that we're doing, the things that are in the playroom. So fun things, sort of toy oriented, things that you might find in someone's happy place. Um, so if you've already organized to get the pattern, you're going to have a pattern something like this that you can download and print that's got all your shapes ready for you to trace for the applique. So this time what we're doing is we're having a little bit of fun with a little wind up chicken. Oh, chickens should be wound up all the time. So I've already started positioning my things. I'm doing fused raw edge applique. On, on the pattern all the shapes are numbered so that you've got some idea if it's a lower number it's going to be most likely sitting beneath something else. So I've already positioned the two little feet. Now the two feet are the same shape but one's sitting behind the other and it's darker because I guess it's a little bit in shadow just so that you can see the difference. We've got his little wind up key down here that goes under the body because it's gone into the body. We've got to put his little beak here and that will sit just under the front of the head there. I've already just sat an eye on top there. So all this is going to be fused in place and then I'm going to free motion stitch around it. So this is this little top knot. It's going underneath the headpiece there like that. And he's got a little tail that sits underneath the body as well coming out the top here. Quite exciting that little tail. And there's a little wing as well. So this is kind of a cute little wind up chicken. I don't know about you but I used to love the little wind up toys and just wind them up and they'd strut across the table or whatever it was that we were sitting at at the time. So here we've got our little chicken and nothing's ironed yet but I'm about to iron everything in place. It's all looking pretty good. Just make sure everything's sitting in far enough from seam lines around the edge and things. Because I'm free motioning I'm going to be needing a, a stabilizer of some sort and I'm using a just a lightweight cotton batting sitting behind there as my stabiliser. So I'll just move this iron out of the way and I'll go to the sewing machine and I'll just do some free motion stitching on there. So I've got my machine with the, the feed teeth lowered, I've got a little open toe free motion foot on there. So we might come around um, and start probably on this key. It's got a couple of little holes in it. So I'm just stitching on the applique but close to the edge and I'm just going around the outside but I think I'm going to do the little hole while I'm here because it's so close I'm just going to skip over and just go around that hole as well. You do need to go around all the edges even though it's all fused on especially if you're ever hoping to wash or use any of these things because the fusing won't always hold as well as the stitching. So again I'm going to go round that hole back onto the key and now I'm up to the chicken body so I can just keep going now on the lower part of the body here and I'm going to do those legs next so I'm just going to go past them first so I've got a line to come back to and I'm going to come down here And then we need to do this other leg as well. There's only one side of it to do. And I think what I'm going to do here is just come back up that same line of stitching again. And back onto the body and then I'm going to ready to keep going around. So I think there's nothing else here that's particularly hard on this little tail. There's a couple of little, um, little lines that indicate separate sort of little feathery bits so they can just be drawn on and then stitched. They need to be stitched so you can see them. Otherwise the eye is just a little tiny bit to applique straightforward. So I'll go ahead and I will show you when I get to the other end. So I'm just on the wing which is the last bit. I've been around all the other bits. of stitches to lock off and then take that out, snip my thread, 
give it a press. What a fun little wind up chicken. So that was the block for this time. So that was block number five. I'm just going to go up here with these other ones sitting very happily in there and I will come back to you again with applique number six.